Greetings and salutations, I'm Zook, your lovable dungeon master, here with a Geeks Anonymous tutorial update. Uh, in this video, uh, we're going to be updating one of my older videos that where I showed you how to import miniatures into Tabletop Simulator. Uh, as you can see, uh, I have found a way to make it a lot better quality. Um, the results are night and day. As you can see on the left here, this one is from my previous guide, uh, where I had to go into Blender, decimate the value, lower the phase count, and then import it in order to get it as an object into Tabletop Simulator. However, um, big thanks to Dark Trinity, who left a uh, comment on my page uh, at the video that uh, informing me that you could actually import it as a, a Unity 3D asset uh, which allows you to basically bypass the limitations on objects. So as you can see here, here is an updated version of the Angel Guy, as well as a halfling I imported for a future game that we'll be playing on our Twitch stream. So uh, the it's it, there's a, a couple more steps that's involved. Um, you're going to need more programs, but overall I think the process is simpler because you don't have to go th through the trial and error that you had to in the first video where you had to decimate it, upload it, see if it uploads, then go back if it doesn't, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to get right into it, and uh, first thing we're going to do is start with what you need to download. So the first thing you need to download is, of course, Blender. Uh, all of these uh, links will be in the description below, so go ahead and check those out. Um, and the first thing is Blender. You'll come to the pay, uh, You'll come to the website, and you'll see... Uh, download Blender 2.9.0.1. Uh, uh, this is the current version. This will most likely get updated at some point, but it shouldn't make too much of a difference. The process is really simple with Blender. Uh, we only use it for one step. So go ahead and download that. Next, you're going to go to Unity, and uh, this is also in the description below. You're going to download the Unity Hub first. So uh, just go to right here on this page where it says Start Here. And you can just click, agree to download, and you don't have to make an account or anything, and you'll just download the hub. Um, after that, you're going to have to download a specific version. Do not, you can download the most recent one, but it's not going to work for this process. So if you already have the latest version of Unity, that's fine. Um, just make sure that you download this one as well. When you start up the Unity hub, it actually allows you to choose which version that you have installed uh, and which one you want to use. So what we'll be using is specifically uh, uh, 2019.1.0. When you get to the archive page, uh, go to you, uh, right here, this tab, Unity 2019. We're going to click on that, scroll all the way down, and you'll see there's a lot of versions in 2019. Uh, Unity 2019.1.0, and just click Unity Hub and download it. Uh, now, I did try to do this tutorial with the most recent version of Unity, and I was unable to do so, and that's because of the next, next step. You're going to need to download the GitHub, uh, pr uh, the GitHub project that uh, someone made for, specifically for Tabletop um, Simulator to integrate Unity into it. So, and that is right here. Once again, all of these will be in the link below. And all you need to do is go where it says code over here, click, download zip. So I'm not going to do that, I already have it downloaded. And then we are ready to go. So first things first, we're going to open Blender. When you open up a new Blender, you're going to see this. We can get rid of all this, we're not going to be using that. Go to File import stl find the file you're looking for in this case it's atlas.stl import stl this might take a few seconds but as you can see it is imported on my screen and as you can see it's also really really big so the first thing we're going to do is uh you can, you can rotate it and take a look at it by holding in the middle mouse button if you'd like. Um, but first thing we're going to do is just resize it. So come over here to the right. This should be automatically displayed. If it isn't, uh, make sure you hit this uh, little object properties box. It's uh, 
It's just the orange cube. Go over to scale where it says XYZ and we're going to change all of these values to 0.1. So basically we're reducing it to 10% of the size. And as you can see, it's a lot smaller. So you take a look and pretty much what we're doing in a blender is done at this point. Um, the previous tutorial, we'd have to go decimate it, reduce the face value, and it would basically ruin the quality. We're not doing that this time. So go ahead and go to file, export, and we're going to export it as an OBJ, the wavefront OBJ. I'm going to save it to the desktop just to make it easy. Export OBJ. Once that's finished exporting, go ahead and close out of Blender. We don't need it anymore. Okay, and then we're going to open up Unity. So in the Unity Hub, you'll see this, and you'll see there are no projects listed here. So the first thing we're going to do is hit Add. So by this point, it should also be noted that the file that you downloaded from GitHub is a zipped file. Um, and inside of that zipped file, it contains Tabletop Simulator Modding Master. So what you're going to do is just simply drag this to wherever you want it. You can put it in any folder. It doesn't matter. So wherever you want it. And then when you go to Unity, hit Add. And then you're going to find that folder. I have it in my Games folder. And just click it, select folder, and you'll see it right here. And just make sure that the Unity version is 2019.1, which this is. Click it, it'll, uh, and it'll execute the application. It might take a few minutes for it to actually boot up the first time, like you're seeing here. So I'm going to speed it up in post. And then you'll see this. So first thing you're going to do is down here where it says assets, you can right click, go to import new asset. And then we're going to find the OBJ that we created, which is right here in my case, atlas.obj. Import it. This might take a few minutes. And there we go. So you'll see it down here all by its lonesome has a little uh, arrow next to it because it has the the mesh, it has the collision and all that as well. So once you're here, just right click on it, go to create, and then go to prefab variant. Basically, you're making a prefab version of this. Um, anyone who's familiar with uh, Unity will know what this is. I don't know anything about Unity. so. Just take my word on it. I don't know what this is actually for, but it needs to be a prefab variant. So go ahead and click that. Uh, we'll name that Atlas like the other ones. And then down here in the bottom right, you'll see Asset Bundle. So where it says None, click, then go New, and we'll name that Atlas as well. That is what the file for the bundle asset is going to be called. And then after you're done doing that, just right click and go to Build Asset Bundles. Wait for it to build. This will also take a few minutes. Alright, and we're done. So now that that's finished, we can minimize Unity. And now we are back in Tabletop Simulator. So what we're going to do now is go to Objects, Components, Custom, and then where it says Asset Bundle, you're going to drag that right in there. <clears throat> You'll see where it says Main, click the folder, and Find. It'll, it should automatically pop up in the directory. Um, if it doesn't, just go to wherever the... Uh, the path that you installed the GitHub files at. And in this case, I am importing the atlas.unity3d. Select. We're going to upload it to the cloud. And remember, you have to do it to the cloud if you want your other players to see it. 
We'll upload it as Atlas. You can name this whatever you want. I prefer to keep it the same. Wait for that to upload. Okay, you'll see it says at the bottom left, loading complete. I like to click on the figurine radial button. Uh, this will make it so if you drop it, it gets tipped over. If you click it, it'll pick it up and put it on its base. Um, plastic doesn't really matter in this case. In the previous version, when you upload something as a model, uh, that'll actually change the gloss. Because you've already set the material in Blender, uh, it, it doesn't have that quality, unfortunately. And there are a couple other differences, we'll go, which I'll go over now. Uh, but first, we're going to go and import it. And you'll see that it's imported. In my case, it's floating in the air. Uh, well, if you just click it, it should just drop. All right, and there's the figure. You'll see it's still pretty big. Um, that's not a big deal. All you have to do in that case is go to the sidebar here, go down to Gizmo, and Scale. And I usually bring it down to uh, about 0.25, and that should bring it right around where I want it. You can play with it however you'd like it, uh, and get it to where you like it. Uh, it's a little too small because this is a halfling, so it needs to be a little taller than that one. So hold on a second, I'm going to get it to a size that I like. Okay, I think that's a good size for him, and uh, now uh, you're pretty much done at this point. If you want to make some alterations, you're more than welcome to do so. Um, I usually like to color coordinate it depending on whatever the player's color is. Uh, in this case, the player's color in T Tabletop Simulator is going to be purple and just hit apply and you're done. So there are a few limitations to this. Um, so in the other video, uh, I went through a process that allowed you to put in a custom uh, collider and uh, basically make it so it's it's like an invisible wall where you want it to be. Um, Cause I've, as you see here, if I drag him in over this other figure or this other figure over here, um, it doesn't get hit by the sword it passes right through it unfortunately it does not do that for the unity assets so it will be a barrier and uh you'll have to be careful with overhanging um objects like the wings and the the swords and whatnot um you can do that while you're uh while you're designing the character just keep that in mind and it shouldn't be an issue um there is a way to alter it in Unity, I'm not sure how to do that yet. I, I might put out another video when I figure it out. Uh, but as as of now, that's, that's pretty much all you need to know for this video. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this informative, helpful, uh, definitely leave a, uh, a like, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope this was helpful for you. Toodaloo.